Yes, it's me, Marty Bender here again today. Well, uh, I see the PM got a new ride, boy. Let me tell a new official S Class Mercedes Benz. Yes, ma, you see it? Mm -hmm. It look real nice, boy. I would like a little ride in that. Oh, boy. They're going to get elected for a second, didn't they? <laughs> Sit down in the back seat and take policeman driving. But let me tell you, put on that siren, clear the road and come down the road, sweet, man. man. It's sweet. a sweet looking ride, though, you know. MP, you know, that's MP, what's that one? That's MP2. Yes, yes. But you know, got MP1 too as well. Mm -hmm. MP1, I think you said MP3 one time too as well. Now, years gone by, the Prime Minister car used to be M50. Yes, during the days of the skipper, that was the number, M50. I believe that number's still knocking about inside government, somewhere, you understand? Somewhere. Yeah, I just see it on the road every now and then. But that used to be the official car. And then Tom Adams came in, it became MP1, MP2. And I think, I think there's also an MP3 somewhere out there, so. And let me tell you something, it looked real sweet, though, I've got to say. Huh? Let me tell you. That's a proper looking motor car. Now, you know, people can talk and, you know, tongues can get wag and so on. Sources apparently say that, you know, the, the luxury vehicle was purchased duty free. Well, I would expect that they saw, so, so. you know, and under a protocol put in place to avoid heavy maintenance costs from everyday wear and tear of government luxury vehicles and was replaced every few years as it caused government less to replace the mother car periodically than provide maintenance for it over a long period. See, market vendor, the quarrel with that is so tall. I only want to ask a little question. <laughs> if it be to the old one, you know, if it for sale. <laughs> <laughs> the vendor would like to put it a little bit far, it, you understand? Because if I can't drive in the real MP2, at least if I could get the old MP2, I could go down the road, you know. I said, well, at least, you know, I drive in both of the modern car that I know I carry prime ministers. You know, something might rub off. What do you think about that there, so? You never know. <laughs> I might start keeping quiet, ne? I don't <laughs> talk about nothing to talk to one of them. As we get up talking, I got this one for you. This, this one real sweet, though. A fella, you know, see, he went to a bar last night, friend of mine. He said, by Mark, and I get the chat, and I see a young lady there, so lovely young lady. I saw, asked you if I could buy a drink. She said, but uh, buy a drink for me. Well, fellas, that like you normally have got girlfriends. What happened to you? You ain't got no girlfriend. He tells you, no, sadly, me and the girlfriend broke up over a month ago. Oh, law, she said, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, I will have the drink with you. So a few drinks later, one thing led to another, little kissing, cuddling, and then we went back to her place. And well, you know the rest of the story. Yeah. My boy said when he was getting dressed out, you know, the young lady asked, you saw a good looking guy like you, amazing in bed and so on and so forth. Why on earth would you split with your girlfriend? You know what he tell she? Mm -hmm. uh, because my wife found out. <laughs> <laughs> you see me market when I go for now. You have a blessing and a wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs>